Okay, so what if Gwen Stacy became Spider Gwen in the Amazing Spider Man universe? Hmm. Well, obviously, events would play differently, but you know, it's Peter who becomes the lizard. You know, because that makes sense, you know, because in Gwen Stacy's universe, you know, Peter becomes the lizard. Guys, I'm not like. Um, I'm not like doing like a story on this. I'm just doing like, you know, like the best scenario that I can. So I think if Gwen Stacy was to become Spider-Man, you know, the, the the story would obviously focus on her, you know, getting bit by the spider. You know, she would ask Peter for help and, you know, he wouldn't tell anybody, you know, that she was Spider-Man and whatnot. I mean, okay, so let's start from the beginning. So let's say, you know, Gwen Stacy's on the field trip. She sneaks into the spider lab where the spiders go. When, you know, where the spiders are, you know, the spider bites her, and then, you know, she trains her the powers over time, you know, she starts off with her classic suit, and then, you know, she evolves to her real suit, and, you know, Peter becomes the lizard in our timeline after messing with some chemicals in, uh, Dr. Uh, Connors' lab, so in this timeline, you know, uh, Dr. Connors doesn't become the lizard, um, uh, Peter becomes the lizard, you know, because in Gwen Stacy's universe in the comics, um, you know, Peter actually became the lizard, you know, from, you know, accidentally taking, you know, some lizard serum, I think it was, and then, you know, he ends up dying, so, you know, at the end of the movie, you know, Peter ends up dying, you know, of course, it was an accident, of course, you know, it wasn't on purpose, and then in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, you know, you would have Electro, you know, you would have Green Goblin, but, you know, Gwen Stacy would actually defeat Green Goblin, you know, by, uh, you know, by webbing him up and, you know, you know, you know, she would fight him and whatnot. And I'm, I'm not trying to say, you know, and, you know, let's, you know, I'm not trying to say that too much. And, you know, you would have maybe the Amazing Spider-Gwen 3. I mean, of course, the Amazing Spider-Man 3, you know. You would have, you know, Gwen face up against the Rhino at the end, you know. She would defeat him and then, you know, the Sinister Six is formed. And what I've gathered, the Sinister Six was going to be uh, Kraven the Hunter, Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, Rhino, of course, uh, Mysterio, wait, so, uh, Kraven, Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, Rhino, Kraven, and Mysterio, yes, so, yeah, we have six, wait, wait, so, Kraven, Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, Kraven, Rhino, and Mysterio, yeah, six members of the Sinister Six, you know, they would battle Spider-Gwen, but, you know, let's say, like, Norman Osborn, you know, wasn't dead the entire time, and, you know, um, uh, Harry would actually betray, you know, Norman Osborn, and, you know, he would free Gwen, and then, you know, you have Gwen teaming up with the Sinister Six, you know, take down, like, this ultimate goblin, yeah, like, we're, we're bringing, you know, ultimate goblin into live action here, so, yeah, I think he would have it at bat, and, you know, the trilogy just continues on from there. So yeah, guys, I really do apologize for the short what if. You know, I'm doing like a scenario, but I want to know your guys' opinions on what if Gwen Stacy became Spider-Man. Personally, my opinion, um, you know, the beginning of the movie, you know, would focus on Gwen Stacy's life. You know, Captain Stacy, you know, becoming a police officer. Her mother Gwen and her brothers, you know, moving to New York City. You know. And it focuses, you know, on her life growing up. You know, she gets bit by the spider, becomes spider Gwen. Peter accidentally becomes the lizard um, and terrorizes the city, you know, throwing cars off bridges. But thankfully, you know, Gwen is able to save them and whatnot. But, yeah, so. Anyway, guys, um. Yeah, I think that about covers it. So yeah, guys, I really do apologize for the short what if. You know, I've been having this what if on my back uh, for some time. Um, but yeah, I really think it would be a great story. You know, I think Miss the Part would do a better job at explaining this what if than me because, you know, he did, you know, what if Harry Osborn became Spider-Man. And, you know, his story was actually really good. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm going to admit it, all right? I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm lazy, but... So, I think it would be a good story, you know, you would basically have, you know, Gwen Stacy fighting Peter Parker as the lizard. I mean, that would be kind of cool, but, you know, the sad thing is, you know, Peter dies in the end, you know, accidentally. 
and you know she would go on to fight Electro, Green Goblin, and the Sinister Six, Rhino, Doctor Octopus, Craven, Mysterio. Um, oh yeah, Vulture. Vulture was gonna be one of the villains. Yeah, yeah, Vulture was gonna be one of the villains. So yeah, you would have her face. You would have her, you know, face Vulture too. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy the short video. I really do apologize for the short what if. I don't think I've ever done a short what if in a while, but yeah guys, I really do apologize for not going really into detail, and I know you probably just clicked on this video for nothing, but yeah, I just wanted to get it off my chest and whatnot, but uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, of course, you know, like, comment, subscribe, just be the fan, and turn that those movies notified provide every time I upload a brand new video, and please follow me on Instagram at ryan2005, and yeah, peace out, I love y'all man from the bottom of my heart, as always. Peace.